Hello everyone and welcome to Music with Miss Olsen. I'm so excited to have you all here today. Today I want to talk about an instrument that clicks. Hmm, what could it be? An instrument that clicks. Alright, I'll show it to you. Hmm. Circles. It's got a strap. It's blue. These are called castanets. Who knew that? Did you know it? That's so cool. Four castanets. These are traditionally an instrument that you've probably seen in Spanish flamenco music, a type of dance. But traditionally, they were used in Spanish folk dancing. The strap makes it easier to hold on to. Right now, I can't click them very quickly. But I'm gonna put the strap on my thumb with both. Then, I don't have to hold on to them anymore, and I can click really fast. And I can move with them. For Spanish flamenco dancing, they typically use it to go along with the beat of the music. And the faster you play, the more exciting it gets. Now, castanets, do you think they're normally blue? <laughs> no. Traditional castanets are made out of wood, and the Spanish name for castanets is castañuela. Can you try that with me? Castañuelas. And it comes from the Spanish word of castaña, which means chestnut. <laughs> because small wooden castanets, they kind of look like a chestnut. I think they look like seashells too, like little clams. And castanets, they're from the percussion family because you're hitting things together. And you're not only hitting things together, it's the instrument itself that's vibrating to make the sound. And we know vibrations, that's how sound is made. The sound waves travel through the air, right to your ear, your ear takes it to your brain and changes it into the sounds that we hear. Now, there's a special name for instruments that make all the vibrations on their own. And those are called Idiophones. What? Like a phone? A telephone? Hey, what's up? No, <laughs> an idiophone. And particularly, these are called struck idiophones because you're hitting them together. Now, you might not have realized it, but you've played some other idiophones in music too. Raise your hand if you've ever played the woodblock. What about the triangle? Yeah! Those are all idiophones. The instrument is making the sound that we hear. Now, you might not realize it, but you have an idiophone in your kitchen. Probably in your silverware drawer. What could it be? An instrument in the kitchen? What is Miss Olson talking about? Are you ready? All right, I'll tell you. It's spoons. From the beginning of time, people have been tapping things together to keep a beat, whether it's sticks, spoons, forks, all sorts of things to keep a beat to make music. And so eventually, spoons were actually transformed into an instrument. And I'm going to teach you how to play the spoons today because, yes, there is a proper way to play the spoons. We don't just tap them together. Spoons are typically used in American folk music. And usually, they might be played with a banjo or a guitar too, and someone singing to keep the beat. So first, you'll need two spoons that are the exact same size. It only works if they're the same. Now they can be metal or plastic. I will tell you, the plastic ones are a little easier to play. So I'll demonstrate and we'll get started. So spoons, like we said, they're a struck idiophone because they're tapping, and that's what's making the sound. First up, I need a big thumbs up. Oh yeah, you're awesome, doing great. Then you're gonna place your first spoon right on top of your knuckle and pinch tight. It's important to pinch tight so that it stays in one place. Next, you'll need your other spoon and flip it around so they're back to back. You're gonna put this spoon underneath your second knuckle. You're gonna pinch them tight. We see they're nice and lined up. Why do you think it's important that they're in the same spot? Hmm. You got it. Because otherwise they wouldn't click together. 
lined up. If they're separate, <laughs> they're just gonna hit your hand. So you wanna make sure, pinch tight, that they're lined up nice. Next, you'll need your knee or your leg to tap on. When you tap down, that's gonna be our first click. When you come up, you're gonna tap with your palm to make a second click. Nice job. Let's see if we can go faster. Should we go faster? Faster? Oh no, <laughs> my spoon separated. It's tricky. Let's try it with the plastic ones and see if that's a little easier. Here we go, pinch, thumb, flip it on over. All right, here we go. Oh, I lost them again. It's tricky. Hey! Alrighty, I hope you have fun with your newfound kitchen instrument and that you learned a little bit more about the castanets today. See you all next time.